Ray Davis off right tackle. Able to gain four yards. Ray Davis currently number four on the NCAA. 38 start of his career, the quarterback transfer from NC State. Second and six, and Devin Leary's got open space, and Leary past midfield. Excuse me, Ray Davis past midfield. Trying to get Ray Davis here into the second level. Good patience following the block. He feels the bounce out to the outside. Third and 14 for Devin Leary. Pressure up the middle, and he is ripped down immediately by Wilson. Two defenders over here stacked. He's going to loop inside. There's a little bit of a game, and Kentucky's not there to pick it up. The center, Eli Cox, slow working that way in protection. Lorendo on second and one, trying to bounce it, and instead, He'll lose yardage as J.J. Weaver came up with the tackle of Isaac Arrow. Jordan straight ahead, and he's wrestled down right near the line of scrimmage by Big. Leary, they pick up the pressure, goes downfield, and gets it complete to Brown. Ray Davis picks this up and stones it, and that's what gives Devin Leary an opportunity to throw a perfect back shoulder throw to Barry and Brown. Working against Louisville's best corner, Quincy Riley, there is no defense. 25-yard reception for Brown. They go jet here. This is Brown now. Look at him high-stepping. Little Dion shuffle as he strides out for 10 and a half yards. Third and 10 for Devin Leary and the Cats. Goes shallow underneath and then up and over for the first down. Two tight ends in this game. You see 82 working the drag. Devin Lear does a nice job stepping up a bit and up with the athleticism going up and over, understanding where the sticks are. That is a huge third down conversion, or sorry, a big, big play on third down early in this game. And six Jefferson straight ahead and he will move the chains and give a little extra fight inside the 30. Play action Leary gets a complete inside the 15 yard line as he's able to connect with Dane Key. Beautiful pocket here for Devin Leary to throw from. He can step up. He can get through his progressions allow this slow developing route on the crossing route to happen. Remember, Dan Key dropped a pass similar to this earlier on a dig. This time, puts it right on his chest. Devin Leary doesn't give up. Leary, quick strike to the outside. And Robinson is taken down at the eight-yard line. Leary, third and six to the end zone. What an effort to come up with it. Dane Key. Dane Key up top is running the fade. Freeze it right there. Look at this. That is a tremendous job pre-snap, understanding where he's going to go with the football, and how about the location of that throw? Putting it out in front of the 6'3 target, who time and time again this year has been able to use his size to his advantage. Big body slants, stick routes, and now the fade. Devin Leary, man in his face as he delivers and is able to get it to Bates. Third and 12. Leary pressured again, has to check down to Davis, and Davis only able to get a few yards back against Storm Duck. In Bristol? No, come on now. <laughs> Dorendo dragged down from behind. I figured Bo would be about plus 15, but he, he looks good he's getting on the Peloton you know, the next day after that. One timeout for Louisville, third and six. Trying to get upfield is Callaway, but he is wrestled down and dragged back. Play action. Plummer pumps, trying to turn the corner himself, and he is met and stopped. Ward Jordan made it a 17 to 7 game. Brown's going to take it out from the end zone. And it's a good decision. Barry on Brown. Well, now how 
How's that Kentucky fan feeling? Mighty good. 100-yard touchdown return for Brown. He's done it again. I don't have a problem taking it out of the end zone. Not when you got jets like this. Full striding all the way. And this rivalry just heats up even hotter. Getting to the outside, I think, helps this rushing offense. First offensive play of the second half for Kentucky. Wide open. And Cummings still going down to the 20-yard line. I think it was Mason Riger, the defensive end, that needs to run with him down the boundary on this play, but he doesn't. He just kind of turns around and lets him go. There's nobody back there. But we talked about Kentucky being down their top two tight ends in this game, and Cummings now show, shows up with a monster grab. He's a local Louisville guy. Went to Mail High School. Leary looking for Davis in the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. Back and forth they go. This game has got absolutely crazy. Devin Leary, great job really selling this. Coming back, locating Davis with a perfect touch throw over top. When they've given Devin Leary time, Joe, in this game, he's made some really good-looking throws. We talked, Katie was telling us at the start of the drive. Jordan hits the seam and a no ball came out. Ball came out at the end just as he was spinning for extra yardage. There is a fight for it. What a great effort by J.J. Weaver from Kentucky in pursuit. Once Jordan got into the second level, it was Kentucky the comes out with it. And look who has it. Tremendous pursuit and effort. He's able to sort of rip that out with his right arm. Jordan puts it on the floor, and that is a massive turnover for this Kentucky defense. We want to talk about seizing momentum and what they've done here in the third quarter on special teams, on offense, and now finally on defense. J.J. Weaver all on his own, knocking it out, recovering it. The first turnover. Leary. Throwing back to Davis. Davis past midfield. Davis cuts it back to the 42 yard this year. The pitch. Davis. Gotta get it, and he does. And around Brown. Gets the block. Cuts up inside the 30 and tiptoes his way for more. I think this is going to the left. In reality, it's not. He's going to start this way and peel around and get a lead block. We've seen a lot of creativity from Liam Cohen in this game calling plays. We talked about how it wasn't just going to be Ray Davis. This to tie the game from 46. And he does so. Rainer continues. Third and three. Plummer trying to extend the play and look at an option. May have to run it here on third and three. Ball came out. The ball came out. And it's J.J. Weaver again. With another huge takeaway. Here's Jackson. Plummer doesn't do a good job with ball security, tucking the ball away. And, it, you know, the football takes crazy bounces. You think that thing was going to go out of bounds, but it didn't. And J.J. Weaver again for the second straight drive doesn't quit on the play and he's there to pick it up. This has been the difference in the game right now. Two turnovers both for Kentucky's defense. Kentucky taking over at the Louisville 22 yard line. This There's Davis trying to get out of the backfield. Davis upfield inside the 10 into the end zone. How about these catches? Liam Cohen, you're getting him one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, Jalen Alderman, on the screen, and Ray Davison's space is a problem. We haven't seen him do a lot of damage toting the rock in this game. Six carries for 15.
corner. Goes underneath. And that's down to the 21 yard line. And as he connects. Lumber throws complete to Nate Ray Davis looking for something. Ray Davis getting loose. Second and ten for Leary. What a great throw and into the hands of Brown. And they are in range for a chance to win it. Between a corner and a safety. He uses his eyes to try to freeze the safety in the middle of the field. This thing has to come out and he puts it in the perfect place. I'll tell you, that's big time, too, for a guy that just threw a critical interception that led to a Louisville touchdown. To answer like that on the very next drive is impressive. And starting six. Ray Davis. Here goes Ray. Say goodbye to Ray. Into the end zone. And the Cats are in control. You know, there's a lot of running backs in this moment that would have tried to bounce it outside. He cut it back. He made a defender miss. And like we've seen all season, he's able to hit the gas, and it's daylight. There was a time this year after the Florida game that people were talking about Ray Davis being a dark horse Heisman candidate. The second half of the season has been tough sledding for them running the football. But catching the ball in the third quarter, now getting it done on the ground. This dream season for Louisville. It comes down to this. He's going to loft it to the end zone. That ball is intercepted. That is Jordan Lovett to put a cap on it. You don't see many Hail Marys from the 32 yard line, but this was it. I thought they had an opportunity to maybe try to dial something up to get down a little bit closer. He threw it down there. Give something.